Hi, today we're looking at two videos. One about a boy who had miscommunication and had an airsoft rifle that his dad took a picture with. The other is about Steven Seagal. Let's get into this right now before I have an aneurysm and a seizure and die. When Sean Moore gave his son a rifle for his 11th birthday, he posted this photo on Facebook. What happened after that is now under investigation by New Jersey state officials. FBI, open up! Now, if you see certain posts like this is made, you should probably be worried if it's in your area or if you live in Texas. Police in the small town of Carney's Point say they received an anonymous complaint about the Moors and so did the state's Division of Children and Families. A police report states the caller believes the children in the home may be in danger from having unsecured firearms they could access. Yes, and of course you should always be worried about your neighbors. But what crazy person that does not live in Texas gives their child a full semi-automatic gun? This is why we had Obamacare for a reason. Are, are they dumb? Moore took this photo when he arrived home and said police and agency workers were at his house asking to see the firearms in his safe. He had his lawyer on speakerphone and refused to open the safe with no warrant. Just like I say, and that one scene in The Walking Dead, you better come strapped. Or I'm gonna clap you back. It's fine. You said come locked and loaded. Okay, then we're here. Although that is every American's motto, down south, like places like Texas and other ones I don't care to name. He expressed his outrage online and then went on Fox and Friends with his son to tell what happened. You know, for some reason, they don't talk about foxes on Fox News. It's kind of sus, my guy. The Department of Child Services, formerly known as DIFUS, started threatening to take my kids if we didn't do that. And they were asking me if I had anything to hide. If I didn't, why wouldn't I open the safe? Well, if you've done nothing wrong, you have nothing to hide. So then why do we secure doors with locks? I mean, it obviously means we're cooking meth. That video link will be down in the description below. Tell me they're gonna come back with a warrant. Moore says after an hour of arguing, the police left. In light of some recent school shootings across our nation, the Carneys Point Police Department takes these types of calls seriously. The Carneys Point Police Chief declined CNN's request for an interview because the matter is now being investigated by the state attorney general. Taking the at least he's smarter than the Australian police chief, well, the South Australian police chief. This one doesn't give me AIDS, this one just gives me diarrhea. It's not as bad as AIDS and it won't kill me as fast, but it, it, it's better. That came after Governor Chris Christie wrote the AG saying public reports about the investigation of Moore raised, quote, troubling questions concerning the facts and circumstances surrounding the investigation, the manner in which the investigation was conducted. Moore's you know, they're basically just telling you this is the end of the discussion. Now to the next discussion about Steven Seagal. Now this Emmy Award winning show came out December 2nd, 2009, called Steven Seagal, Lawman. Yeah, but this piece of a gym 30 second clip will probably give you cancer. Now that he clarified that it's airsoft, you can finally stop who knows. Maybe not, maybe so, maybe who knows. You guys are not going to believe this. Play Rock has cancer. It's on the counter. Sir, please. Where's the I don't give a It's airsoft. It's airsoft. Now that he clarified that it's airsoft, you can finally stop trying to shoot up the place like almost every cop gangbang turns out to be. Do some stupid Yeah, come on, man. Show me some of that stupid shit. This is what companies are making these days. It looks and feels like a real MP. He really called it an MP5 and said that it looked like like... Did they give this man a paper gun and a sticker badge? Because if he even said that that was just like an AK without a budstock, that would have been more acceptable than an MP5. Clearly that's beta Spetsnaz, but we don't need to go into detail on that. And 
Uh, I'm just embarrassed because he he's a cop. I know he doesn't know about every gun, but he should be able to tell the difference between an MP and an AK. Guy in here almost got shot over a toy gun. Were you really gonna open fire on this man even though his toy gun was literally across the hall? That sounds like incompetence to me. Well, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Please, we need to grow this channel or my eight children are gonna go starving.